everyone, welcome to my brand new channel. Today I have so much to talk about, so let's just get right into it. I attended it. IMATS LA, it was from June 23rd to the 25th, and it was a blast. I met so many great people, but most of all, of course, is why we're here today, I got so many great things. So let's get started. Let's see, the first thing I'll tell you about are my new Bedellium brushes. I wanted to try their brushes. I've heard a lot about them. They're antibacterial. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll review these on the blog. I'm going to be starting very soon. They look great. They felt great, but we'll see. Um, I cannot go through all of these. I got way too many brushes from Crown Brush. Let's see, I got some Duo Fibers. I got just some shadow brushes, some, you know, contour and crease brushes. I mean, the list goes on forever. I got way too many brushes. Let's just be honest with ourselves here. Oh, here's more. I got a little kabuki brush. And I got a pink kabuki brush. So adorable. And it's nice and soft. I love the people at Crown Brush. They're just so nice. I got um, a new spatula and thumb palette and just some little disposables and everything for my kit. So that will be great. Crown Brush is an amazing company. They make really good quality brushes for a great price. So that's from Crown Brush. And um, I got this little kabuki brush from another company. Um, I forgot the name, but isn't it so cute? It's sparkly. Everyone knows I love my sparkly. And then these palettes are what I'm really excited about. They're crown brush palettes. They are the new ones. This one is Wago. These were only $10. Oh my gosh, those colors are just ridiculous. And this was Blizzard. Let's see. Ah, open that up. These are more shimmer these are more shimmers. I believe the other ones are mattes. Tons of colors, and they're way bigger size if you can't tell. And um, let's get to something a lot of people have been talking about. And excuse me if the words are backwards. I'm using my computer today. Um, velour lashes. Velour lashes are made of mink. And let's see, I got two of them here. I'm going to show you both. Here's one. And here's the other. I believe these are Doll Me Up. And these are... Mmm. I forget. I will... Let's see. Doll Me Up was the first one. And... Oops Naughty Me. Is the other one. They're made of mink. They're supposed to last for 25 uses. To me, they're overpriced. But hey, my friends wanted them. So, I got it for them. What are you going to do? I believe they were $20 at IMATS. Usually they're $30. I know, right? So these are the <laughs> lashes I got for myself. I got a bunch of Ardell lashes. Ardell. So I just got corner lashes for myself. I love it. It looks like you're wearing lashes and they're super easy. They came out to less than $2 a piece, which is amazing if you know the prices of Ardell. Um, I also got Miss Adoro. I, let's see, just a bunch of them. I'll show you my favorites in a second. They were all about a dollar fifty a piece, except for these lashes. These are the 423s, and I don't know if you could see from the side right there. My shaky hands. They are double layered. I will try to get a detailed picture. These are stunning. I absolutely loved it. The girl had one lash on one eye and nothing on the other and the difference was absolutely night and day um all right i got violent lips ha ah, violent lips i got the ombre uh purple and pink sparkly so i'll be doing a tutorial on these soon and i also got the matte because just because everyone thinks violet lips only does glitter lips but they don't oh i'm looking ghostly i'm sorry these lights they just they're crazy. Um, but no, this has three different shades of pink. So I'll be doing tutorials on how to put these on. And they look super cute in the package. Got a lip tar. This lip tar is called Radiate. 
It'll be fun to mix these with some of my other lip tars. I also got Beauty So Clean. I was planning on going there. I had no idea that they were going to have this so. Cupcake flavor, scented, sorry, not flavor. Don't eat your brush cleaner. Cupcake scented brush cleaner, $5 at IMATS. That was such a great deal. I also got some of these little um, mini sanitizing sprays. You just spray them on your powders or anything, and it just completely sanitizes it. So that will be great for my kits. And I got the sanitizing white. came in a cute little cupcake tin or little box. And they're just little wipes, and you, you can use them to like wipe off the tip of your lipstick or your lip gloss. And they work really well. I right stopped by the Naked booth. I've never used Naked before, but I've heard great things about it, especially because they're so pure and with my sensitive skin, it's great. I decided I wanted to try out something really neutral. I don't know if you could see the colors here. These are just very neutral pigments, but I'm excited because not only will I be able to use them on my eyes, but I got their little lip gloss. And I'll be able to make a lot of nude lip glosses out of this. So that will be great for them. And they also um, had their new conditioning um, advanced skin cream. So I'm excited to try that because I think that they're a really great brand. And I'm sure that it's going to be great for my skin because it's pretty dry sometimes. Um, I heard a lot of stuff about Embryo Lease. And I had never tried it. And look at this thing. It's like filled with samples. They just gave it to me. They gave me samples so I actually can try it out before I buy any of it because it's pretty expensive and I might actually do some giveaways. Some of these I am not going to be able to use. They're not for my type of skin so I might put these in a couple of giveaways that I end up doing. This product is ex especially special to me because it's sugar pill. And I got to meet all of the Sugar Pill girls, including Shrinkle, Amy, and I've got to say some of the most down-to-earth nice girls. Quite a bit of time talking to Amy, the founder of Sugar Pill herself, as well as the makeup artist and all the other girls, and they were just so sweet. So look at that color. Regardless of the fact they were nice girls, how could I ever say no to that? called Dolly Pop and I think that that I mean I'm excited and that day I'd actually worn pink and I had to use blush for my eyes so I think that it was time to get a good pink shadow here's another product I was really looking forward to if any of you have seen my picture on Instagram I have really glittery lips in my picture and that was from the makeup show and it was eye candy they are little um pigments of glitter and all you it's called eye candy because it's a sugar serum and you just dip your brush I actually got the ended up getting the pro brush you dip your brush in the serum and then you dip your brush in whatever of the glitters you like and I just got some great glitters I got jawbreaker chiclets there's Cherry bomb, bubble gum, taffy, honey drop, a black glitter, licorice stick, and coral because if you all know me, I love coral. And this one's called Peach Fizz. And it just has look at those gold specks. I'm so excited to use these. I'll definitely take bunches of pictures because I can't wait to try them out. I stopped by Nick's booth. Uh, it was insane. You had to like go around in circles. Up oh, there it goes everything. You had to go around in circles to get everything, but it was worth it for the prices. Let's see, I got the matte bronzer and light. I heard that even light is really dark, so we'll have to see about that. Just got some bunches of lipsticks. Some I got the matte, this like orange coral called Hippie Chick. It was really pretty. And just some other ones. Summer Love. I'll do some swatches um, on my blog. Narcissist. And there's tons of other. And I had to go back a second time, even though I lost my first bag anyway, so don't even get me started. But um, I had to go back on Sunday anyways to get my milk 
pencils. I have been looking for milk everywhere. I only got cottage cheese. And I know this sounds really funny because I'm talking about milk and cottage cheese. But no, these pencils are great. They're um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. And they you're supposed to just kind of cover your lid and use it as a base. And it really brightens your eye. But they're always out of them. Cottage cheese is pretty similar. It just has a little shimmer. But I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for milk. And apparently so everyone else was because they were sold out. So, um, just some more lipsticks. Let's see what else. I got Z palettes. Brand new colors. Zebra. Ah, everything's falling. Hot pink. They discontinued the light pink that I have. And I got Model in a Bottle Sensitive Skin Setting Spray as well as their face um, makeup remover for sensitive skin. So I've heard a lot about that, so I'm excited to try it. So um, that's it. I mean, not that that's it. That's a ton of stuff. But thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.